Welcome to this tip presented by the Envision Group. In this video tip, we will be applying link sets to elements. Link sets allow MicroStation elements to be linked to external files, folders, and websites. By linking supporting data such as existing photos and details to your design, you are maximizing the use of data. In this example, we have a culvert replacement. There are existing photos and construction details that will be linked to the elements in the design file. Let's begin. From the file pull down, we're going to go to Project Explorer. Once we have the Project Explorer dialog box, we're going to open up the Browse button and create a new link set. The link set name will be Culvert Project. Once we have the Culvert Project created for the link set, we will go back to the Project Explorer window. To manage the data, I'm going to create a couple folders here. The first one is going to be for the drawing files. I'm going to create a second one for the photos. And a third one for the details. Now that I've got my folders organized, I can open up Windows Explorer and start linking some data to it. Here's my project directory. I'm going to take the uh, images and put them in the photos folder. I'm going to grab the DGNs and the PDF files for the details and drag those into the details folder. And lastly, I'm going to go to the drawings folder and grab my project site plan and throw that in the drawings folder. Now that I've got the information in Project Explorer, I can right click on some data and do an add link to element then select the element and now it is linked. I'm going to use the end grate detail here, add link to element, right clicking, and then lift, left clicking on the two end grates, and then the uh, detail for the um, culvert detail. Now you can see I've got a little icon in the lower left hand corner of any element that actually has a link set to it. If I do a right click on that element, then I can follow the link to the file and it will open the file automatically. Right here I've opened up the JPEG file. The JPEG file default opens in MicroStation. I can use my view groups to get back to the previous file. I can also right click on the element for the detail. Follow that link to the PDF that I've selected. And that will open up the PDF detail and the PDF browser for you. Same with the end grades. I can do a right click follow link to that detail and see that detail in the PDF. Now if I do have an element that has a link I can modify those links. I can go to element information. There's links drop down. Uh, from here I can select it, browse, change it if I need to. Or if you need to remove a link for whatever reason, you can do a right click and delete link. Now you can see that there is no link icon, but there's still one on the existing. This concludes our tip with working with uh, link sets. For more tips and tricks, please visit envisioncad.com. Thank you.